we're certainly not where we want to be in Louisiana. Um, and, you know, we, we don't want to have to uh, go backwards in terms of going back to phase one or to phase zero. But what we cannot, absolutely cannot have happen here is that we lose our capacity to deliver life-saving health care uh, in our hospitals. Tonight, Governor Edwards and hospital officials from right here in Lafayette sounding another warning about hospital overcrowding because of the pandemic. And that warning tonight coming as Louisiana surpasses the 100,000 case mark. According to the Department of Health, Acadiana and Southwest Louisiana are two of the state's biggest hotspots right now. Those two regions make up nearly 30% of the almost 2,300 new cases today. 13 of the 16 new deaths reported come from these regions. What's alarming officials the most is the increase in hospitaliza hospitalizations and patients on ventilators. Governor Edwards says he's especially concerned about the rate of COVID spread in regions 4, 5, and 6, which are Acadiana, Lake Charles, and Central Louisiana. Chris Welty joining us live at the state capitol. And Chris, what are leaders of Lafayette's largest hospital saying tonight? Marcel, the chief medical officers from Lafayette General Health, as well as Our Lady of Lourdes, joined Governor John Bell Edwards here in Baton Rouge for the press conference earlier this afternoon. They're pleading for Acadiana and the rest of the state to help slow the spread of COVID-19. The chief medical officers from Lafayette General and Our Lady of Lourdes say their respective hospitals are near capacity and they are again delaying some non-emergency procedures. Lafayette General Health has had to transfer patients out of area to Rapids and other parts of the state. The LGH main campus has half of its ICU and one third of non ICU patients fighting COVID-19. As for Our Lady of Lords, Dr. Henry Kaufman says the surge in patients has significantly affected hospital operations and that they have almost completely eliminated elective surgeries at the hospital over the last two weeks. Kaufman says Lords has seen a 300% increase in cases from what they saw during the initial wave of COVID-19 in Acadiana. It's a very real problem. Burnout of our team members is a real problem. Fatigue is an issue. We want to be strong and there and there for you and there for our community. But this current wave of cases is taxing our ability to do that. Tonight at 6, details on the challenges hospitals in Acadiana and around the state are facing to find more staff. Live in Baton Rouge, Chris Welty, KTC TV3. Well, labs are being overwhelmed by coronavirus tests, having a domino effect around the country, and many people can't go back to work until their test results are in. For some labs, it's taking weeks to get results out, exceeding the 14-day quarantine rule. And right now, the CDC is recommending people recovered from the virus do not get tested again to see if they still have it. The agency says states looking to lift restrictions should have a testing turnaround time of under four days.